All right, mate, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. Time for another podcast today. I've got Tom Gray with me, as usual, but I've also got another man you may know, goes by the name of Poet. Woo! Man like Paul, where's my dad? <laughs> how are you, mate? You all right? Um, I'm doing better. Are you looking forward to uh, this, this podcast experience? Oh, 100%. I've never done this before, so I like fresh new experiences. Excellent. You know I mean? That's what this is going to be, mate. We're going to talk some football with you and Tom, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So we're going to jump into it. I'll play you some of the best bits, but obviously, if you want to listen to the whole thing, make sure you uh, check out the podcast. It's on iTunes. It's on Audio Boom, SoundCloud. All the links are in the description. Sponsored by Dream Team FC. I've got an article on there every week now. There's a link to that in the description as well, so make sure you take a look at that. And let's get on with the podcast. Come on. All right, mate. How you doing? Welcome back to another Spencer FC podcast. It's the second one ever. Before we start, I've got to say thank you very much for uh, those of you that listened to the first one. Amazing, uh, amazing well, numbers. We were fourth on the UK uh, iTunes chart. So it'd be amazing if we can get somewhere like that again. Excellent stuff. As usual, I'm joined by Mr. Thomas Gray. We had him here last week. Good to see you again, Tom. Good to see you too, my dear friend. How are you? Yeah, I'm all right. Guess what? I was on a train with Sol Campbell yesterday. Is that f- as a friend or just a coincidence? Not as a friend, as a pure coincidence. He wasn't even in... Um, what do you call it, First upper class. class? Yeah, it's just with his family and normal. We've also got a third guest today, my good friend, Poet. How are you? I'm all right. I was on the train with my mum yesterday. Ah, uh, oh, damn it. So we're going to talk, we're going to do some football talking, obviously, but later on in the show, we're going to find out more about you, because I think a lot of people will know you from Copper 90, you and, Vig- you and Vianic doing the presenting for comments below and lots of other things as well. Yeah. Some people would have seen you on my channel, the Wembley Cup, my <laughs> centre-back partner. Yeah, my like real, aka, but yeah. Winning centre-back partner as well, we Thank won the you. game. Solid Thanks. performance from you in that one, mate. I bless you. Cheers for getting me involved in that, by the way. Yeah. About you were injured, that. weren't you? Yeah. <laughs> 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 next time, next both, time. Both hamstrings. <laughs> uh, Jamie Vardy has become like the uh, kind of poster boy of the nation uh, of sorts recently. Everyone's talking about him. We're going to play a game called Jamie Dude. Vardy's Having a Party. Now, what I want you cool. to do, both of you, imagine you were Jamie Vardy's hired party planner. Okay, you'd been hired to put on a birthday party for Jamie Vardy. What do you do? What would you think he'd be into? What sort of party would Jamie Vardy like? Tom, what are you thinking? Well, first of all, I'd thank him for allowing me to arrange it. What an honour. Um, good for I'd the probably, portfolio. Good for the portfolio, yeah. Um, I reckon he'd like a sort of maybe a Butlins holiday or something yeah. in a caravan <laughs> uh, uh, with some of the boys. Or karaoke, I reckon he'd like karaoke. karaoke, yeah. Okay. And um, and just just a, just a general good time. Probably arrange some paintballing or something like that. Oh, I think you'd like sort that. Sort of team sport game. What about you, Pat? What are you going to do for Jamie Vardy's party? Beat that, Pat. I just don't know. He's gone through so many transitions in his life. I just feel to myself, what could I offer a man that has a Mohican one point and five years ago had cane roll? Um, <laughs> I also would thank him for the opportunity to organise his party. Very and gracious party planners, you guys. Copy That's why you get repeat business. What a copycat. You I am. Me <laughs> um, and then I would like get a sponsor like WKD. He looks like he looks like a wicked <laughs> yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Good shout. Then I'll get Tyson Fury to sing oh, at the that. event, which I feel like he would love. Hang and on, Tyson Fury you, you, loves you, did, to you didn't sing. specify the budget. I didn't well, know. He's, he's got, got a bigger budget big. than me. It no, but like. Tyson Fury Damn looks it. like a nice guy. Like if you reach out to him, like, oh Tyson, could you come and sing at this party? He's always singing as it yeah. is. He, he might wants, be like, he just wants a gig. He just wants a gig. Yeah. Given the opportunity at Jamie J- Vardy's yeah. having a party. Someone, as we move on, someone that's not having a party right now is Gary Monk. First things first, does Gary Monk deserve the sack, poet? No, not at all. Problem is, I just don't think he's been given enough of a budget to compete with some of the teams. You take a look now, you've got Stoke spending ridiculous money. You've got a lot of teams in and around Swansea's team, which are spending huge amounts of money. Now, if he doesn't financially keep up with the likes of Stoke and so on and so forth, unfortunately for him, he's going to find himself falling later, you know, falling behind later on in the season because all Swansea were doing, I feel, at the start of the season, they had a settled side and they were probably just picking up from where they left off last season. I mean, there's talk of Brendan Rodgers... Potentially oh, going back. Well, my next question was who would they replace him? Brendan Rodgers or David Moyes? Who would you have a, at Swansea well, if Monk does Poet, that? Uh, Poet was saying earlier, how many examples can you think of successful comeback stories? Mm. And, you know, there was Dalgleish at Liverpool, failure, Kev, Keegan at Newcastle, failure. Who Robocop 2, failure. <laughs> Me and my ex girlfriend, <laughs> failure. <laughs> Home, Alone, <laughs> Home Alone 2, success. So there are some. Mm, there are, there are exceptions some. to the rule. Thierry Henry. If he goes, are you, are you Moyes or are you Rodgers? Um, I would probably, I would have said Moyes originally, but I don't respect him for not learning Spanish when he went across to Spain. So I'm going to say Rogers. Okay. Who did learn Welsh, of course, when he went to Swansea. (laughs) 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 Poet? Oh, mate. It's like asking, do I want ginger nuts or chocolate biscuits? I don't like either of them. So it's... (laughs) 
I just don't know what to do. I mean, oh. So you go, you're, you're Keep Monk camp then. We'll say you're a Keep Monk. I'm Keep Monk, man. Okay. Let's move on to something a bit more cheerful. I didn't think, Poet, when we got you in here and we talked about Arsenal, we were going to be talking about positives. But we are, despite having a lot of players injured, missing so many, probably more than you've had off in a long time. Yeah. You got the win on a weekend where all the other guys didn't get points. Yeah. Man U drew, Chelsea lost, Liverpool lost. Uh, Tottenham drew and City lost. Perfect weekend for you, right? Oh, it's a great weekend, man. And we played awful. Sunderland deserved a point at least. Really? That game. We played absolutely awful. So just that alone makes me go, do you know what? The fact that we're playing bad and we can get a win makes me happy. Because just at this Sign point, of a champion. I don't care. Hopefully, hopefully, I think we've got we've got so many injuries. You take a look, Santi out for three months now. Sanchez out for a month. We've got no Cochrane for three months. We've got well, Walsh has been on the NHS for God knows how long. Welbeck's at university. Like no one's about. <laughs> <laughs> what I don't like about Mark Hughes is if you listen to his vint- interviews, he's got the driest lips ever. Yeah. He talks like he's got just literally been sucking on some cement. Yeah, yeah. He needs, yeah. He needs some of that Vaseline, Poe. Yeah, um, yeah gonna use some. He just sounds really. I just don't like listening to his voice. Yeah. But um, <laughs> the verdict's still out on him. Uh, what I want to do now. Um, Poet is learn a little bit more about you. Mental. Well, <laughs> what I'm trying to do each time Tom and I we have a third person on, we want to yeah. try and find out a bit more about them. We found out more about Tom last week, which was very interesting. Fifty Shades of Thomas Gray. I know Poet. It's not your. It's not your government name, as you call it. It's not the government. No. It's Where not did you get the name? Well, hang on. From. Poet isn't your real name. No. Nah, it's not the name I can give to the police. They won't be impressed. Is that? But why did you choose Poet? I'm misled. I do apologise, darling. No, I'll take all. you out for a drink Thanks afterwards. So. Um, <laughs> basically, when um. I'll, was starting to get into the world of entertainment everyone had an alias no matter what he was doing and we all started off by doing um, MC and Grime so but everyone had these really threatening names and I've walked in with my skinny self nowhere near threatening fresh Adidas tracksuit looking fairly pretty amongst <laughs> these bag of individuals who looked like they were going to rob me at any point so if I came in with a name that was a little bit too like I want to be gangster type of thing they would have just kicked my ass but so I thought what's a, what's a name that you can listen have little expectation from him but then when he does perform you think oh he's actually pretty good i was like poet okay guys podcast is done i'm going to talk to uh, tom and poet about how it went tom did you enjoy today's podcast yeah did thanks very much i feel i've made some good points and stumbled over my words once or twice but other than that it was fine yeah do you think we're improving as a podcast i think we're always improving but i think there's always room for improvement and um i think we're both capable of taking criticism on board any suggestions would be gratefully received you used to be a teacher what grade would you give us for today's podcast b what would you, would you give us for last week's? Uh, I suppose it depends. How it, B as well. No, so both we, A. What am I talking about? A's. <laughs> A's. What, what sort of teacher are, are you? Yeah. Poet, do you enjoy it? It was amazing. I had a fantastic time talking about things and stuff. And life. <laughs> <laughs> you're, much more, you're much more eloquent on the uh, podcast than you are outside the podcast. Oh, me? Outside the podcast. Like, fire, 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 <laughs> scrap that. Look at this bird. Oh, mwah, look yeah. at you, darling. Yeah, but, <laughs> that is, that's how he actually talks. So, so yeah, yeah. It's all an act. It's all an act. Make sure you check out the full podcast, guys. Uh, it's on iTunes, on Audio Booms, on SoundCloud. All the links are in the description. Thanks again to Dream Team FC. Our sponsors, I've got a new blog on there now. So you can check it out. There's a link to that in the description as well. But that's about it for today's podcast. Hope you've enjoyed it. Feedback below in the comments or tweet me at Spencer Rowan what you think. And I'll see you next time. But until then, don't go changing. Is he going to wave? Whee! <laughs>